I was beginning to shuffle my feet. My daughter insisted that I go to the doctors and see what was going on. And that's when I was told that I had Parkinson's disease. Charlene's story really embodies the idea that no one should have to get Parkinson's disease in order to feed the rest of us. Parkinson's is on the rise. It's the fastest growing neurodegenerative disease in the world. Over the last 20 or so years, the number of people in the United States with Parkinson's has doubled and it's expected to double again by 2037. With Parkinson's, we believe that only about 20% is due to pure genetics and the remaining 75 to 80% is because of an interaction between genes and the environment. Uh, from Winters, California, where uh, we bought 250 acres. Now we've got prunes and almonds and walnuts and pistachios. Uh, it was so fun. It was a family thing, and, and, and the kids loved it. They loved it. From 1993 to 2000, uh, I sprayed chemicals, uh, uh, a pair of cloth, and we, we never sprayed uh, without being with full protection, we thought would protect us. Paraquat is an herbicide that's helped used to clear fields before planting crops. The risks posed by Paraquat greatly outweigh the benefits. People who are exposed to Paraquat in the fields or in their homes near the fields are more than twice as likely to develop Parkinson's disease. When I first learned about the connection of Paraquat and Parkinson's disease, uh, it struck me that this is something we could do something about. If this chemical is triggering a disease, we just need to eliminate the chemical. I'm here today because I know that there's a lot of farmers and farm workers that are still out there and using this product and it is not worth it. It, it really should be banned. Uh, it's very dangerous. I had no idea that what I had been spraying for years would be such a helpless cream. Charlene coming to Washington helped to bring the, the tragedy of Parkinson's to members of Congress and their staff so they could see up close the effects of using Paraquat and understand that we don't need to use Paraquat to grow all the things that feed the rest of us. A disease like Parkinson's affects more than just the patient. It impacts an entire ecosystem. So the voice of the advocate, the voice of the patient, that is the most important voice in the room. EPA must soon decide whether to re-register Paraquat for another 15 years. So this is indeed a very, very important decision. More than 70 countries have already banned Paraquat, including the countries where Paraquat is made and marketed. China, Switzerland, and the UK are the countries where Paraquat is either made or marketed, but farmers in those countries cannot use Paraquat because their governments have concluded that it is simply too dangerous. One of the things that is really infuriating is that the maker of this pesticide knew the risks, didn't tell their regulators, didn't tell farm workers or farmers, and actively sought to conceal those risks. The fact that we don't allow Paraquat to be used on golf courses, but we let it be used on our crops, and sprayed by um, crop dusters and uh, the paraquat dust can float into a school yard or a playground or people's homes. I really upsets me to think that back then we were never warned of the dangers of Parkinson's disease. Um, had that happened, I'd have never done it. I would have never sprayed it. They need to ban this from our country. There are hundreds, thousands, possibly hundreds of thousands of people out there that have Parkinson's because of it. EPA needs to ban Paraquat and they should do it now. Sign the petition. Help us tell EPA and the Biden administration that it's time to ban Paraquat.